Hey guys, um, today I picked up uh, WWE 2K15, so we're going to do an unboxing for that. Um, looks like it comes with the Sting, um, the two Sting, but the two versions of Sting. Um, but uh, I I won't really be bothered about that because I picked up the season pass, which my code is in here. I can't use that until the game's released tomorrow in the UK, but the, sh the shop I go to is selling it early. Um, so, I'll type, I've tried putting in the season pass already, it's not going to work until tomorrow. So, I've got the season pass there, so that will include Sting anyway and everything else that comes out. But, um, yeah, front cover is Cena. Um, in the back you've got uh, Bray Wyatt. And, uh, yeah, just some information about the game and stuff. On the spine, the 2K15 logo there, and the WWE logo. I should point out, this is, um, this is the first wrestling game I have picked up since the last one I played, which was on the... I want to say it was on the PS2. It was probably one of the SmackDown games on the PS2. I've not played a single wrestling game since that, so I am so, so hyped up to play this. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming. I've got to say, there are a lot of things that I'm worried about with the game um, after watching gameplay and stuff. I'll go into them in a minute, but um, yeah, I've always been a huge wrestling fan. Um, I've watched it growing up since just before the start of the Attitude Era, you know, for a long time, all through the Attitude Era, which was my favourite era of wrestling, um, watched up for a long time, and then I think in 2007, I stopped watching wrestling until, until about, uh, when was it I started again, it was about, about a year ago I started picking it up again, so, really, I, I had a, a bit of a big gap in between then, but, um, yeah, uh, I, I've just fallen back in love with it again the thing I've loved um, for so long uh, growing up uh, my favourite wrestler of all time and still is even the, well when I say still is um, my favourite wrestler of all time was Kane when Kane the original classic Kane when he first came in uh, to WWF at the time um, I was blown away by him and he, I just kind of magneted to him, he was my favourite. Him and Triple H growing up um, were always my favourites. Um, Kane more so though. Um, uh, I loved Kane up until the day he took off the mask. Um, it was never quite the same again. Um, still always uh, loved and respect him because of what he, he'd done. But um, I like to f I like to remember him up until the day the mask came off, and then after that it was a bit of a you know you know thing, the events with Schnitzky and uh, all the other stuff that went on, you know, I just didn't really like it, but um, yeah, some, just to let you guys know, some of my favourite wrestlers of all time are, you know, the likes of, uh, well, Kane and Triple H, like I said, um, uh, Bret Hart, Sting, Jeff Hardy, Chris Jericho, Benoit, Angle, um, Undertaker, uh, Hollywood Hogan, never really liked Hulk Hogan, I've always liked uh, Hollywood Hogan. Um, on the current roster, um, what, why don't I just start opening this while I get in here. Um, on the current roster, and there's the book, John Cena again, just the WWE logo there. I wonder if there's anything in the book. It looks a little bit thicker than the normal book. Are we going to get a coloured, oh that looks like the Sting codes. Well, might as well show you them. Yeah, they're, they're the two versions of Sting that you're going to get. Surface Sting. And there's the code in the back. Yeah, Sting DLC pack. That'll probably be included in the season pass anyway. So I guess, I guess what I will do then, yeah? Here you go, guys. Whoever wants Sting, I don't know if that's focusing, there, pause the video, and you can get these two versions of Sting because I'll be using the... the, um... The season pass, which will get me these anyway. So if anyone wants to go and take them, go ahead. Um, in the back here, what have we got? John Cena. Learn all about John Cena and his road to the top. So we'll get rid of them. The manual is... 
uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to see another manual uh, the way I like it again for the rest of my life, buying new games. But yeah, so that's the unboxing for that, but um, yeah, just to talk talk about currently, on the roster, my current favourite wrestler uh, is Dolph Ziggler, absolutely love him. Um, also really, really like Dean Ambrose, but um, I'm really, really, I'm really, really loving and hating Seth Rollins. I'm kind of hating Seth Rollins because he kind of stomped on Randy Orton recently and I fucking love Orton. But uh, yeah, I love the fact that Seth makes himself so hateable because he's such a good heel. Um, you know, obviously Lesnar, um, Taker will likely still come back. He'll come back and do something probably at Mania. Um, but yeah, I'm not a Daniel Bryan fan at all. Can't stand him. Uh... John Cena, I like, I respect John Cena, I quite, I really like John Cena actually, I'm not a fan of his really though, I'm not like a huge fan, but um, I don't hate him like everyone else does, he's kind of got that Call of Duty thing where, because he's so successful now, people are wanting to hate him, I've got, oh, I just would so love it if he'd turn heel, it would be even better than when Hogan turned heel, you know, I really fucking love it. You know, I, I'd love if they'd done something like it was a triple threat match at, at WrestleMania. Um, Daniel Bryan came, came back and he was, like, arguing, saying he wanted a shot at the title. And Cena was arguing, saying he wanted it. So they made a triple threat, him, Lesnar, uh, Lesnar, Bryan, and uh, Cena. And Paul Heyman's at the side there. And then uh, something happens where, like, C Cena, Cena um, and... Uh, Brian are going against Lesnar and kind of beating him up together and then Cena and Brian start going at each other and then Cena beats uh, Brian and then Lesnar gets up though and goes to get Cena but then Paul Heyman turns on uh, Lesnar and then uh, Cena uh, gets, gets the win and then stands up and shakes Paul Heyman's hand something just fucking crazy like that you know anything but I'd really love to see Cena turn heel I think it would be one of the biggest boosts and shocks in the wrestling industry and it would really really I think it would get a lot of people uh, who are a bit stale with the with wrestling at the moment to kind of get hyped up and get really into it again but yeah thanks for watching the unboxing guys and see you at the next video